they call him the godfather of graffiti, Richard Mirando, much better known as Scene. He's nearly 50 and has been doing this since the early 1970s, when he made his mark on New York subway trains. Today his work is shown in galleries. Some critics say that's a sellout. I do understand the arguments that others may have where, you know, this belongs on the street, not in a, on a clean wall, framed nice in a package, you know. I had a problem with that in the early beginning, that I wasn't sure that my work was going to go from steel to canvas, you know. But in time, I've learned to say, hey, this is me and this is what I do. During the 1980s, Scene's unique style propelled him to the forefront of New York's new wave of street art. He often uses comic strip characters as models. International fame followed, and today some of these paintings sell for several tens of thousands of euros. Today, Scene has adopted Paris as his home, and as the home for a big show of his work. Me, just walking down the streets of Paris, the structures of the building, the architecture of it all, uh, I find it amazing uh, and that it, it is so old, you know, and it's still standing. The time when Scene stole his spray cans from supermarkets seems distant. But even if you can take a street artist out of the Bronx, can you get the Bronx out of the artist? Painting the subway trains was always a great feeling. Uh, there were the smells of the railroad tracks, the oils in the tracks. You had the element of trying to get your painting finished before the train pulled out, uh, do a painting before the police come or chase you or maybe a chance of being arrested. And if that sounds nostalgic, it probably is. And for all those pining for the carefree days of early street art, Scene's retrospective will be just the ticket.